Hey everyone, welcome to another week of Humeridge at Home worship sessions. My name's Brendan Wormsley. I've been part of the Humeridge uh, music team and, and ministry team for probably the last 15 years or so. And uh, music is just such a, a wonderful gift for us to have. It just brings us joy, it gives expression to our, our gratefulness uh, to Jesus and for all that he has done for us. And that's what tonight is really all about. For the next half hour or so, we're going to spend some time just singing songs uh, about God, about Jesus, who he is and, and all he has done for us. So looking forward to spending some time with you tonight. Well, let us know where you're from. So just pop over into the, uh, the comments section and let us know where you're watching in from tonight. Um, I want to send a quick shout out to those watching from Mandubra and uh, from Kingaroy to, uh, to those tuning in from Springwood Church of Christ. And I want to say a big g'day to all those folks down in Tamworth, country music capital in New South Wales. Great to have you joining us tonight and I'm um, looking forward to spending this next half an hour with you. Well, I've done a, a number of trips out into the Australian outback uh, in my time and it's just such a wonderful experience to head out there, particularly at night time where you can camp out in your swag and just look up at the stars above and there are so many stars without the, the light pollution of the, of the big cities. And so it's just a, it's an incredible experience and I don't know when the last time you actually took time to, uh, to just go outside and look up at night time and, and see those stars and just be in awe of, of what God has created. Sometimes I guess it can make us feel a little bit small, and that is okay. Sometimes we need to be reminded that we are small, that we can seem insignificant, but we have a God who is big. We have a, a big God who loves us more than we can possibly imagine. I think of um, the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament, and he had some really, uh, really incredible conversations with God, which he recorded in some of his writings. And I want to read you... Um, uh, just a little bit from Isaiah tonight before we get started. Uh, I just wanted tonight, I guess, focus in on and around this, uh, this concept of the, the greatness of God, his, his grandeur, his, his majesty, his power. And uh, this, uh, this little verse here from, from chapter 40 of Isaiah, which is a, an awesome chapter in Isaiah. This is, again, a conversation with God and, and Isaiah. And, uh, and God says this to, uh, to Isaiah. Isaiah 40, chapter, uh, chapter 40, verse 25 and 26. Uh, where are we? Here we go. God is saying to Isaiah here, To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal? Says the Holy One. That's God. Lift your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls them each by name. Because of his great power, and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. So let's start off tonight singing a, a great old song that speaks of just how great God is. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all works that hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the mighty thunder. Thy power flew out. The universe display. Then sings my soul. How great thou art, 
a great song that is, just telling that whole good news gospel story of, of Jesus and his incredible love for us and the lengths that he went to to bring us back into relationship with God. Now, you, you, may, you may notice over these next couple of songs, things might tend to go a little bit kind of, a little bit country. And that's okay, because God loves country music. Everybody knows that.
Yeah. Well, you know, the, the early church, uh, those that lived just after, after Jesus went back to heaven, the early church spent a lot of time in anticipation, waiting for Jesus' return. And that's our hope today. We, uh, we, we wait for his return. That is our hope that one day we will go to be with him. And that's not just a wishful thinking kind of hope. That is a, an assurance, a blessed assurance that we have. And that's, that's what we're singing about tonight, this hope that we have in Jesus. So I want to continue reading um, from the Bible. This is, um, this is from the book of, of Hebrews which is in the New Testament. And uh, this was written as an encouragement um, to the early church, and it's still... And so this is from uh, Hebrews chapter 10, um, verses 24 and 25. And it says this, And let us consider how... Uh, let, us consi uh, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. And that day is the day that Jesus returns or that we go to be with him. So what I want us to focus on now is that how, how can we consider to spur one another on. I think one of, the, one of the really great ways that we can go about doing that is to think about what are we thankful for? Who are we thankful for? I don't know, you might just want to pop on over to the, the comments section and, and let us know, what are you thankful for? Or who are you thankful for? Um, there are so many things that we can do to take our, the focus off ourselves, uh, particularly if we're dealing with a lot of issues and a lot of stuff going on in our lives. When we take our attention off ourselves and onto others and onto God, of course, we can be thankful to God for all he has done for us. But have a think about some of those people in your life who have uh, maybe done something for you, um, something that you can, maybe you can write something to them and, and give them some encouragement as well. I think it's really good to be, to be thankful for things. And I guess that's what we're doing here tonight. We're singing songs of, of thankfulness, uh, songs of, of praise. And so um, what I want to do now is, is to let you know what I'm thankful for, thankful for or in more particularly, who I'm thankful for. So I am really thankful for my mum. And uh, I want to say that tonight because it's actually her birthday today. And so I'm going to sing a song for her tonight. This is, a, I, I, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago in, in one of the posts that I put up, one of the songs that I um, put up on our Hume Ridge uh, website and YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. I mentioned one of my earliest musical memories was when I was a little boy, probably maybe three or four years old, sitting at my mum's feet as she played the organ in church. And she used to play all those wonderful old hymns like Amazing Grace and Blessed Assurance and Great is Thy Faithfulness and Rock of Ages. Great old hymns. My dad, he was also um, into music. He used to play a guitar and used to sing at home pretty much like what I'm doing tonight, sitting on the lounge, just strumming some good old, um, good old gospel songs. And so this song was actually one of my dad's favourite songs. And uh, he used to sing this song all the time because it probably reminded him of, of how his dad brought him up. And uh, my, when my dad used to sing this song, um, I guess it reminded me and my brothers of how our dad and mum brought, uh, brought us up. And now I've got two boys of my own, they're growing up pretty quickly. And uh, it's just this great, great reminder of how important, um, I guess, the Bible is. This is, this is a, it's, I guess it's not really a worship song, but it is a song of an encouragement to let us, to remind us how, uh, how important the Bible is. This collection of, of books and collection of historical accounts and, <clears throat> and of poetry and of proverbs and, and um, just the, the story of, of Jesus when he, when he walked the earth. And so this is a song all about, um, all about the Bible. I've got to put on my little trusty harmonica for this one. There we go. So this is a song all about our family Bible and uh, this beautiful book that transforms lives and, and points people to Jesus. Here we go. There's a family. 
to know what were some of the songs that you listened to growing up. If you grew up in the church, it'd be wonderful to know what are the songs that really kind of hit home to you, that songs that really meant something to you. Um, just head on up to the comments section and just let us know what were your favourite songs growing up. It'd be good to know that. Well, speaking of the family Bible, speaking of the Bible, um, we would really love to encourage you to uh, join us on Sunday where we uh, have our live um, Sunday service, and um, that's from, uh, from 8.45. You can tune in from 8.45. Service starts at 9 o'clock. But this week in particular, we've got Jenny Savile, one of our, our pastors at Hume Ridge, is going to be speaking on the question, what if it's true that the Bible is still relevant today? You know, the Bible is, is you know, five, 6,000 years old, and uh, it's affected people all through history and changed people's lives. And uh, we want to ask that question. What if the Bible, what if it's true that the Bible is still relevant today? So we'd encourage you to join us for our Sunday service um, this coming Sunday and um, check that out. It'll be awesome. Also, I want to let you know that next, uh, next Wednesday night, We've got Annalise Harris leading our Hume Ridge at Home worship session. Uh, Annalise is one of our worship leaders at Hume Ridge, and she is awesome. And so um, please feel free to join us again next week um, for, for Annalise, and uh, she'll be leading us in some great songs as well. Well, um, we're just about ready to wrap up, so I'm going to leave you with the, with the song. But before I do that, I want to read another verse uh, from the Bible, from Hebrews again. Uh, reading from Hebrews chapter 12, um, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders 
and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. I guess during this time where we're kind of a little bit isolated from one another, there's a, I guess there's a sense of, of frustration and I guess an eagerness to get back to the way things were. But I'm not sure whether things will go back to the way things were. Life is going to be different moving forward and that can cause a little bit of uneasiness. But I just want to encourage you tonight to, to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus as we run this race. For the last couple of years at Hume Ridge, we've been talking about being in passionate pursuit of Jesus. And I think if our focus is on him, then all those other things that could potentially um, trip us up um, don't seem to be that much of an issue anymore. So let's, I want to encourage you uh, to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus as together we, we run this race, this faith journey that, that we're all on. Um, no matter where you're at, you might have been on this journey for, for many, many years, or you might just be, be new. You might even just be checking it out. We're all on a journey, and uh, I just want to sing this song as an encouragement so that we can uh, consider um, continuing to pursue Jesus passionately. We will sing how great is your faithfulness. We will sing of your amazing grace. We will praise you forever from each generation. Together we're seeking your face. We give thanks for all that's before us. And for strength only you can replace. We will wait on the one who is for us. And press on till we finish this race. Run to know you better, know you better, you won't let us down. You mark the path or any tour and stay on this solid ground. We're raised faith and hope in you, grace and truth we hold on to. In passion and the pursuit of Jesus. We will shine the light of your kindness. Burning bright so the world might believe That the love you have given inside us Overflows to our neighbor in me We will share the greatest of stories How you saved us from death and destiny Now we follow the call for your kingdom And we run with the new life you bring Jesus. 
Well, thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. Uh, we really hope you've enjoyed our time uh, tonight at uh, Humorage at Home worship session. And I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.